So far, you learned about phylogenetic tree and its development. Next, let's understand how we can apply it to a real-life problem and address biological question. Let's take an example of COVID-19 pandemic. Whenever a pandemic outbreak happens, there are several questions that needs to be answered. These questions can be any of the following. Where did this novel coronavirus come from? Which animal, what location? And how did it start infecting humans? To understand and design the vaccine against any virus, we need to address these questions. In this objective, our goal is to understand its zoonotic origin, that is, from which animal it has been originated. To address this question, we will have to find data patterns in the available genomes of coronavirus that can help answer this question. Phylogenetic analysis approach can help us to understand the origin of the novel SARS-CoV-2. To do so, we aimed to perform phylogenetic comparison or analysis between the SARS-CoV-2 genome sequences with sequences of other coronavirus strains from other animals. As this pandemic originated in China, therefore in our objective we focused on China as a geological location and want to compare strains from human SARS-CoV-2, bat coronavirus and pangolins. To understand the zoonotic origin, we will search NCBI virus. We will search for coronaviridae as shown here. Next, we are applying specific filters to select the sequences. Select China as a geographical region. As we know, COVID-19 was initiated in China. Next, complete as a nucleotide completeness to eliminate any partial sequences. Then humans, bat and pangolins as host for coronavirus infection. We have now downloaded or obtained, let's say, three sequences from four different organisms or species origin. That is, human SARS-CoV-2, bat SARS-CoV-2, bat coronavirus, and pangolin coronavirus. We have downloaded sequences in four independent groups, as mentioned. Besides, we have also downloaded the reference genome for SARS-CoV-2, both as a FASTA sequence file as well as a GenBank file. GenBank file will be used for codon translation during phylogenetic analysis. So here, as mentioned, we have NG sequences for five samples from each of the pangolin coronavirus, bat coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, MERS, and SARS. Once we have sequences, next we can perform phylogenetic analysis using the phylogenetic tree module on the tBioInfo platform. So now let's get to tBioInfo server. Here you need to select the NGS data type as FASTA, upload the files that is FASTA sequences, make groups using the group selection option and drag the files into groups. Here we have made four groups, one each for human SARS-CoV-2, bat SARS-CoV, bat coronavirus and pangolin coronavirus. To get a translation coding frame, upload the reference genome in GenBank file format to generate the translation codes frame. It is needed as we wish to analyze mutations or changes occurring at amino acid level. GenBank file comprises information about the sequences coding regions. To get the outgroups, we are going to skip this option. If you are willing to understand the evolutionary time points of origin, then you can proceed with it. Now, let's create the pipeline graph for phylogenetic analysis. Here we will use the default parameters for each step. By clicking start, we will start building the pipeline. Next, perform multiple sequence alignment by clicking the multiple sequence alignment option. Then, click on multiple sequence alignment amino acids that translates the MSA alignment of nucleotide sequences 
into MSA alignments of codons and the codon matching amino acids. This is done by acquiring a GenBank file. Select a codon position for the multiple sequence alignment. Here we are not choosing any specific position. We are considering only default positions. Next to generate a phylogenetic tree, we are selecting the all phylogeny methods option with the nucleotides at sequence type parameter. This will automatically execute all the methods that include APE, B squalcent constant size, B speciation yield process, and B speciation birth death process. Post processing using the tree space option, the tree space module generates a median tree from the multiple tree. This is performed in two steps. First, the algorithm performs pairwise distance calculation between trees and then it constructs the median tree for which the sum of distances to all other trees of the set is minimal. Now click on the end to complete the phylogenetic analysis. Give a name to your pipeline and click on Run and Cluster. You will be able to view your outputs in a while. After completing the pipeline, we have obtained various outputs under the Download Pipeline Output Files option. Median Tree Plot.pdf and Median Phylogenetic Tree.tre represents the median phylogenetic tree and All Trees Plot.pdf represents the four trees that were generated by each of the four methods. The all input data MSA out fasta.fa and all input data MSA out fasta.fa.cluster represents the multiple sequence alignment. Full table.tsv represents the mutation. Phylogenetic tree in the median phylogenetic tree.tre file can be visualized in the fig tree. Multiple sequence alignment present all input data msa out faster.fa file can be visualized using multiple softwares like UG. To learn more about the exact biological interpretation of all the outputs that are obtained here, you can refer to lesson number 6 phylogenetic analysis on omics logic learn portal under the genomics course. And if you face any errors, then you can anytime reach out to us at marketing at the rate and we'll be happy to assist you.